That was bad timing, but okay. Man, I'm still recording. In the fight with Bloodshot. Okay, we should have gotten everything, so. One thing I've learned, that's where I'm gonna hide my secret face where I am born. Also, watch the cutscenes, but you should. My X ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Bugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So, how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever. No lock wall. But you need all seven keys to open it up. Hey, my eye on it, you mean you were already learned to like 10 minutes ago? <laughs> what? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and. And, and this is it? You're a monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. I don't know what sturdy wet rat, but I'm pretty sure I that I have a stick. Before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? He wow. knocked his block off with his You're stick. You're a Tsh. <laughs> you know that thing is Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big words. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? What, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joints, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! Oh yeah, I know how to do this fight. There. I'm an idiot. This is the easiest fight in the game. These are also very crappy bullets. The ones that your guards shoot are better than these. So what you want to do is you want to get all these mirrors, light these little crystals up that you can't tell. And the next one's really hard because he shoots the mirror by accident and then it turns back around again. Huh, you hit mirror. Maybe I did this one. I know in the next one he will, will turn the mirror back around. I am positive that he does it in the next one because that's the one the hardest for that. See his fights real quick. Don't worry about it. It's real straightforward here. Oh, jeez. That's the easy Monk part. Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town for there are like more challenging. There are like 10 moths on my window. It is hilarious. Actually just missed us. Inspector Fox went for the next best thing. And drag that canine steroid case off to jail. Out of there. That was the end of Bugshot's gambling empire. 
Mesa City citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Let's get all the moths on my window. I figured out a way to get sexy time. time. Well, sexy time sounds interesting. Okay, then I got to just game faster than I think. Uh, okay, here we go. We're cut seed itch. The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous voodoo priestess, Miss Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Every game needs a haunted level of some kind, and we're at that certain level. And yes, this level is very haunted. There's lots of spooky stuff here, but it's not scary at all. I love a game where it makes a scary level and has nothing to do with scariness at all. Why? I have no clue. Do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not the problem. This swab is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Emily. We got work to do. All right, then. Don't forget to use the new yeah. move you learned from Mugshot section of the Phoebeus Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines around here are <coughs> Jump and hit the circle button. Especially where you see the bark has been worn away, and where it's super slick from Mickey slime and moss, your rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Okay, so this is the semi hard part of the game. It's not really hard, it's just the bottle locations. This level are botherable, or bother, or bothering, bothersome. Is that a word? I didn't even know what happened. I just hit circle and I did that. Oh yeah, if you have the water protection thing, this level's real easy. Which is the one you got. We got back in uh, up to the top. That one will protect you from any kind of water. And trust me, that's really useful here. Skip half the level here. And this here is the worst idea in the game because it's just so annoying. And huge, which is kind of scary in the game. Big enemies are not the kind you want to go against. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Thanks for watching, guys.